Welcome to Engage Lab. I'm your host, Ajay Puri. Today we'll learn about the seven tips to run an engaging unconference. Oh wait, you don't know what an unconference is? Check out our last video and you'll learn more. Here are seven tips to ensure that you have an engaging unconference. Tip number one, be creative and bold with your burning question. Spending time on creating a guiding question for your unconference is critical for inspiring participation and generating new ideas. The better and deeper the question, the better the session topics will be. What's the future of housing? How do we make social purpose business the norm? How can we be more authentic and collaborative in our work? Questions like these help people get the juices flowing. Tip number two, sessions should be attendee generated but also have a spine. Have attendees come up with session topics to guide the day and have direct input on what happens next. What we see works well is to have some predetermined spine sessions running throughout the day. It's good to be safe so that people can learn the basics of what you're trying to cover. These can be sessions on content, fundamentals, and skills. For instance, for the burning question of what's the future of housing, you could have a spine session on Housing 101 or lessons learned from current or past housing models. Tip number three, the four principles. Setting the context for the day and the process are key. These four principles will help creativity flourish while holding space for a safe and inclusive environment. One, whoever shows up to your session are the right people. Number two, Whatever happens is the only thing that could ever happen. Three, whenever it starts is the right time to start. Number four, whenever it's over, it's over. Tip number four, the law of two feet. We've all been to sessions where we wish we could have left early. Sometimes we start doing something else, like checking emails, daydreaming, or even dozing off. Maybe it wasn't the right topic, or you didn't feel like you were getting value, or maybe you're worried that you're missing from another session. The law of two feet allows attendees to participate or leave sessions as they feel most comfortable. If attendees aren't learning or contributing, they are welcome to leave the session and let their feet take them wherever they need to go. That way, those that show up are the ones that are meant to be there. And this is a good way to help avoid people from feeling that they wasted their time. Tip number five, set up seating in circles, not rows. Instead of sitting in rows like a traditional lecture style classroom, sitting in a circle helps everyone feel included and makes it easier to facilitate the conversation. Tip number six, Prep your facilitators to be engaging and welcoming. It's important to have strong facilitators at each session to keep things on track, encourage participation, and document discussions to take them beyond the group. Tip number seven, document outcomes and formalize the next steps. By documenting the gems that come out of your unconference, you can ensure that the ideas go beyond the room. And formalizing next steps serve to turn discussions into real world change. For instance, you can indicate that at the next unconference you host, you will have one of the groups share their lessons learned at a particular topic. Like say how they prototype new housing models. Bonus tip, use the move up, move up facilitation technique. We've all been to conferences where there's people that speak a lot and some that don't speak at all. You can mention that if you're someone who tends to not speak a lot, you're welcome to move up your thoughts and share them with the group more. And if there's attendees that talk a little too much, ask them to move up their listening. That way they can hear other people's ideas. Check out the link in the description below to read more about these tips and other details in our user guide. And now that you have some tips on the principles of an unconference, let's get into how we actually run one. Watch the next video and we'll teach you how. If you have any questions or need help planning your own conference, let's talk. Get in touch with us and we'd love to help you out. If you have other topics for Engage Lab, let us know. We'll get them in the next video. Thanks again for watching.